Okay, Sambo here, 29th of July, it's winter. Just going around checking a few of my highs, a few of the weaker ones. This one was a split from late in the summer. Um, really shouldn't have done it, but I really wanted progeny from the Queen. And I was just going on through and had a bit of a look and she's very small cluster. I'll be lucky to make it. So what I'm going to do, I'll transfer them to a nucleus hive. Just move this over a little bit. Bottom board for my nuke. My homemade nuke can go on top. Now they've basically got no stores. There are a few capped brood cells on this frame. I've also got eggs and young larvae in there. There's my queen wandering around. As you can see, very few bees. But if you look carefully, there's a bee there with pollen stores coming in. And that's it. I'll go get another nuke body and I'll put on top because there's still some honey stores in that super I had there. Now this is a this is a less than ideal situation because I've got this full depth nuke. I've got my ideal sized frames which are only about half height. So I'm going to end up with some bear comb. But what I have got here is some honeycomb. I'm just going to sit that on top of the frames in the brood box. And I'll just fill it up with these shallow frames. So yes, I'm going to get burr comb. But I'd rather deal with a bit of burr comb than dead bees.
Now I'm bound to get a few foragers come back that, are, that will get a little bit lost. But by having that box in the same spot or the entrance in the same spot that the previous entrance was in, I think I'll be able to minimise it. The queen's in there, there's a little bit of brood, honey stores. Gotta start fanning and getting that scent out.